Green Mountain Dairy in Sheldon, Vermont is an impressive farm, large by Vermont standards with over a thousand cows, owned and operated by the Rowell family, led by brothers Bill and Brian, who manage its day-to-day operations. The farm was voted Vermont Dairy Farm of the Year in 2008. The dairy herd produces over 22,000 pounds of milk annually per cow. It also produces another product in abundant supply. We have uh, a waste stream of about 45 to 50,000 gallons of manure per day. But like an increasing number of farmers, the Rowells don't let their waste stream go to waste. Several years ago, they began channeling all that manure to a large holding tank they installed at the farm called the methane digester. As the manure breaks down in the tank, it releases methane, which the digester captures. The combustible gas then fires a generator, which produces electricity the farm sells back to the power grid. So the electricity uh, will pay us uh, roughly $350,000 a year. It's a nice economic story, but one Andre Denis Wright hypothesizes could be even better. Wright is chair of the University of Vermont's Animal Science Department and one of the world's leading authorities on methanogens, the microorganisms that produce methane in the gut of most herbivores, and which are also present in the animal's waste. Wright has a theory. What if the teeming population of microbes in the digester could be modified so its resident methanogens produced methane more efficiently and in greater quantity? Methanogens are part of a classification group called archaea. So the research that we're doing, uh, my postdoc Ben Wallace St. Pierre and I are looking at the microbial ecology um, of methane digesters. And so we're looking at the relationship between um, the bugs that produce methane, the bugs that produce hydrogen and other substrates, that these organisms need. The research is trying to understand what bugs are present in the digester so that we can reduce them in numbers so we can reduce corrosion while also returning more hydrogen to the system so archaea can produce more methane. To do the work, Wright and St. Pierre need to bring some of the digester's contents back to the lab. There, samples are analyzed using DNA sequencing and other sophisticated techniques. The bacteria that we're interested in die in the presence of oxygen. So we want to go in deep enough underneath the top of the, uh, the sludge to make sure that we get the bacteria that we're interested in. So we basically have a garden hose that we attach to a suction device. We put the garden hose deep enough and then we just pull the sample in. The work Wright and St. Pierre are doing at Green Mountain Dairy is part of a new UVM program called Dairy Center of Excellence. The program represents a new way of doing dairy research at the university. It's one that financially challenged public universities around the country are watching carefully. Two summers ago, UVM sold its research herd of about 300 cows. The herd was costing several hundred thousand dollars a year to maintain and losing UVM up to $90,000 annually. The university now spends the portion of its annual federal funding that had gone to herd maintenance directly on research that takes place on a growing number of exemplary farms near campus. Green Mountain Dairy is one. Wright, who also directs the new program, thinks it would lead to better science and better public understanding. This allows us to actually be on multiple farms around the state. Um, our grad students, our scientists, uh, our undergrads that are doing work in our laboratory. Um, it gives us a much bigger present, presence. It also allows the farmers to actually know a little bit better about what we do. It's a good public relations as well as a research um, paradigm. The Dairy Center of Excellence program was launched this year. In addition to Wright's work, three other faculty research projects were funded. If the digester project pans out as well as Wright hopes, it could influence the way dairy research is done around the country and is a good sign for farm viability in Vermont. Let, let's use an analogy here. You drove up here in an automobile fueled with gasoline. If you could double your mileage on that gallon of gasoline, would that have an impact on your economics? Absolutely.